trend is very cyclical. So when there's a video game launch, sales spike, and then right. you go through our peaks and valleys. So we're going to live through two cycles of this. And during those times where there's valleys, our product line strategy is to drive innovation and increase our marketing spend so that it's continuously top of mind with kids. The core of the line is made up of two-inch little figures. Okay. Between um, spring and fall, I'm going to have over 80 of them. So every month, there's reasons for kids to keep coming back to the stores. Legendary figures at a four-inch scale. Pokemon Evolve. So the stronger your Pokemon get in the video games, they change into different characters. We're capturing that story for the first time in tech. Um, we have a four-figure gift pack, which is a large figure and three small figures. That's really perfect for that consumer that's entering the brand. There's different styles of Pokeballs. You're going to see those come to life. You can clip and carry skew. It allows kids to clip it on to their, their waistband and act like a trainer. Okay. Gameplay, put your Pokemon on the stand, pull back the Pokeball, open the lid, it goes forward, Pikachu falls in, it comes back. Cool. Each of the figures come with these little ID tags. And this tells you who the Pokemon is, what their fighting type is, their height and their weight, and these work with the Pokedex. Pokédex is iconic to the brand. Roleplay is a huge category for boys. Mm -hmm. So we've included the Ash Glove, he's okay. the trainer, the Pokéball with the figures, some extra ID tags, and then your Pokédex. So what I love about this line is that it's fully integrated together. It's just not one-off skews. We do have some IR figures. So how does it's uh, infrared with a controller? Is it remote control? Yes. Calls it around? IR, let me turn it on. Rather, rather swift. Yeah, and then the P Pikachu format, when you go forward, he actually goes down on all fours into his attack pose. Uh, Pikachu is going to be popular. Yeah. We have um, some 7-inch vinyl figures that have articulation in the legs. Yes, that's very good. Um, I like those. We've got a storage case where you can house up to 20 of your oh. characters. It has a battle arena, and since Pokemon don't die, we have a little healing center there. So it's a multi-purpose storage case for on-the-go play. We have our 12-inch nature figures. So wow. These are motion activated, so they change based on the motion. If you're if you're stomping on the ground, it'll make a stomping sound. You put the neck up, it starts to make a soaring sound. It has a battle cry from its mouth. You go into battle mode. The tubes oh, light up. I was just gonna ask if it had lights. <laughs> yeah. That is fantastic looking. The tubes light up. You go through the same motions and different sounds. So these are excellent oh. figures. Are these in the same vein? These are actually model kits, so these are prototypes right now. Okay. So what, essentially you assemble your own Pokemon, and then you turn them on. They have like a gear in the middle, and they walk. You get Genesect going. And these are very rare characters. So there they go. That's great looking. regular collector figures? Absolutely. Okay, and how does it know which one you have? Is it based on the cards? Yes. Okay. So when you go to battle play mode, it's going to cycle through all your different fighting attacks. So when you put Scraggy down, you know that he's, I don't know what he is, dark fighting. So you'll choose that icon. Okay. And then these are modular because all Pokemon are different sizes. So this allows you to snap 
snap them into place. Very cool. What I'm most excited about this item is that when Pokemon X and Y, the video game, is launched in October, we're going to release this item with X, Y. Oh, all right. Very nice. So, and then plush is the number two selling segment for the brand. So we have three and a half inch keychain plushes. Our eight inch plush. Our 18 inch novelty plush. And then our transforming Pokeball plush, which is like two in one. So there's Ashwa. Oh, that's cool. And then he's a Pokeball. Nice. So that is our line for spring and fall. Now, is this a, a playset arena you can get? So we have a single skew of the catch and return Pokeball. This is an item we're going to release for fall. It comes with a game mat, three stands, and two of those Pokeballs and three figures. What I love about this stand is that you can adjust the height okay. to increase the level of difficulty. So I'm going to try to catch Superior. Pull it back, open the lid. It's all about aiming. Nice. Yeah. And the goal is whoever catches two out of the three Pokemon wins. Let me try that again so it works the right way.